The ocean provides most of the oxygen we breathe and a large part of our food supply. It also plays a major role in climate regulation. This service is provided in simple exchange for the respect of the life that populates it. By regulating and fertilizing the food chain, large marine mammals watch over this fragile equilibrium. The futures of both whales and humans depend highly on one another. Yet today, bigger and more numerous ships threaten whales throughout the world. Maneuvering these heavy steel giants requires early planning, but animals are often detected too late. In many cases, a collision will result. In most, the animal will not survive. In the Mediterranean, eight to 40 whales are killed in such a way, endangering an already fragile population. In the 19th century, Matthew Fontaine Maori devises a way to map currents around the earth. He asks sailors to write down their position along with the date and place the record in bottles to be cast at sea. They should also collect any bottle they found and track those records in their ship log. Navigation was made remarkably safer because a community shared information. In the Mediterranean Sea, the Pelagos Sanctuary has been the testing ground for a participative cetacean reporting system Created by ecologists, engineers and pioneering shipping companies, the RepSet system is based on community effort. A dedicated computer on board allows any ship witnessing an animal to report it to a server. The observations are then centralised like Maori's bottles at sea. After processing, they can be sent back to the vessels providing them with a map of danger zones. This gives the crew time to slow down and potentially adjust the ship's trajectory. Thanks to RepSet, sailors can work together to make navigation safer for whales also. Along with sailors, help us reduce collision between ships and whales in the Mediterranean. Meet you at kisskissbankbank.repset. Bank